Hey guys, today I am going to share with you one of my favorite dessert recipes. It is my grandmother's cream cheese pound cake recipe. If you're new to us, please subscribe and hit the notification bell, tap the bell so you can uh, find out when we release new videos. We do all kinds of stuff. We do recipes, we do homeschooling, we do homesteading, we do DIY. So if you don't want to miss any of our new videos, I, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to us and um, share us with your friends. So let's get started baking. So the first thing you're going to need is three sticks of butter. And uh, I never prepared when I'm doing a recipe video. I did not have three sticks of butter. I have two, but I have some ghee. So I'm going to use the two that I have and then some ghee. These need to be at room temperature when you start, so go ahead and plan a little bit ahead of time. Oh, that was a mess. Then you're going to need eight ounces of cream cheese. I had about two half packs of cream cheese, so I'm gonna stick those together. Those need to be room temperature also. Then we're going to add three cups of sugar. Y'all count too, like I do. <laughs> I will forget if I don't. Two. Three. All right, now we're gonna cream those together. Now we've got six eggs in here. These are room temperature eggs and we're going to add these in one at a time while the mixer is still mixing. Now we've got that beautiful orange yellow batter and we're going to start putting in our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna mix them together first in a bowl and then we'll kind of uh, sprinkle them in there as it's mixing. So we're gonna do three cups of flour. teaspoon of baking powder you can tell I hate measuring spoons so I just always guess and then a dash of salt okay mix this up We're going to add it to the batter. Now we're going to put a little bit of vanilla flavoring in. And I already have my tube pan that is greased, so it is ready to go. I'm just going to pour this in. Look at that beautiful batter. Our farm 
eggs are really, really yellow. The yolk is really almost orange, actually. So that's why it makes the batter this yellow. So don't feel bad if you have to use um, eggs from the store. That is not a problem. But I was just wanting you to know why this batter is so yellow. So I'm just going to kind of smooth this out on top a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. And my oven is already preheated to 325. We're going to bake this at 325 for 90 minutes. We have about five minutes left on the clock, but I don't think we need to wait that long. I think it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna pull it out and see. It looks so good and it smells even better. I'm just gonna get a toothpick and see what the center is like. And if you do any kind of baking, then you know that <clears throat> if you stick a toothpick in the center and it comes out clean, then it's ready. This is pretty clean. Check one more spot. I don't know. It's looking brown. I think I'm going to stick it back in there for just a few more minutes. But um, it's, I think it needs just a few more minutes. <clears throat> So I let it bake for another uh, five minutes, which is what it was supposed to do, and now it is done. So I was just getting impatient, I think. So I'm just going to um, let this cool. I'm gonna put it on a cooling rack and let it cool for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to take it out of the uh, pan and let it cool some more until we're ready to eat it after supper. I'm gonna make my kids wait until after supper. That's really mean, I know. Now the tricky part. A lot of people have trouble getting the beautiful, delicious smelling cake out of the tube pan. So if you've greased it well, it shouldn't be a problem. But I usually take a butter knife and go around the exterior of the cake just to loosen it up even more. And then I'll also do it gently in the middle. And I know that might mess up how it looks a little bit in the middle, but I think it's better than having the whole cake fall apart. So let's see how it goes. All right, we have a whole cake that came out. So I'm just going to um, put my dish on top and then flip it over. And that is our beautiful pound cake. Hello. Are y'all ready for cake? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. How about you? I got mine. It can be. Look how yellow it is. You know why it's so yellow? Why? It's from our um, our eggs. That's why. That was mine. Okay. You want the crumb? Yes. <laughs> Happy. I want a crumb. <clears throat> Excuse me while I get to my precious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you tried it, buddy? Yep. It's good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yummy. You gonna eat yours? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm nervous. 
About what? Eating. About eating it. It looks so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Oh, 